Hey guys, and welcome to the Parrot Bros. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to remove the rear door trims. Now I know this is a bit of a bane of people's lives. You may want it off because the flap's broken. It just keeps popping up, or maybe you wanna change the color of your seat belts from black or gray or green or whatever it is to bright yellow or red. <laughs> um, or you may wanna change your interior color, which is why I'm doing it today. Um, so I'm gonna go through all the tools you need uh, basically how to remove these and put them back on again. So let's get stuck into the intro. Okay, so we'll go through a step-by-step, -step, relatively simple, um, just a little bit time consuming because basically you need to remove the rear bench. You don't need, it would be easier if you remove the top, however, not fully needed. You'll just need to keep flipping it up and down. Um, you're gonna need a Allen key, or Allen key bits, um, a socket set, and if possible, a swan neck spanner. Now that is for removing the rear seat point. Now, this is two parts of a tool. You might get lucky. Um, it's a number, what have we got here? Number five Allen key, which goes into the end. And sometimes you might get lucky and you might just be able to undo that as it is. Unlikely, but you never know, you might get lucky. Um, otherwise, there is a 17 mil, which goes over over the top and then there's a shallow nut um, on the body of it which holds it in. And basically, you then put the Allen key, let's put this ring down, you then put that over there, put your Allen key in, then obviously it gives you the ability to hold it and get it cracked off. Then once it's undone, normally you can just wind it out relatively straightforward. Now this will be the same for if you're doing a rear seat delete or anything like that and you wanna take this off because you wanna take the rear boot trim off, you wanna take this trim off, or you just wanna take them off. Um, that's how you do it. In an ideal world, swan neck, or a gooseneck, or whatever you want to call it, and an Allen key five mil, so 17 and five. You're also going to want to take off the seat belt point, which is found just here. Um, now that is done by removing the cover, if you have one still, and that is a case of just pulling the cover down, and then you can just pull it forward and actually take it out. It has like a, um, a clip that kind of pushes into the carpet to keep it there, but they just pull out nice and simple. And to hold the seat belt down is a 17 mil bolt. Once that is done, you're pretty much ready to take this out. So what I say, if, if you can take all the seats out, ideal, not essential, but you have to work around it, so it's entirely up to you. Um, then once you've done that, it is just a case of prizing it off. Um, for that, I used a couple of tools, plastic trim tool and a metal one, just to get some reach, just to pop them out. And then it is just a case of working it round. Now I'll show you it off the car, um, just so you can get a visualization of where everything is. The other fun one is trying to get the seatbelt through the, the gap. Once you've done that. Uh, oh, some other reasons, maybe your disc change is broken, your CCM's broken, the speakers are behind there, if you've got Bose as well. On the other side is the amp. Right, so. On this is quite a few clips. I usually start at the front um, because you can get to these two quite easily. What I normally do is just get my trim tool in there and pop this side off. Um, and then that allows you to get some of the clips. It's also attached to the bottom trim, this trim here, um, which I'll show you in a minute inside. And that allows that to come off. And then you can just get your trim tool in between it and pop them two out together separately. So you can separate the two. Um, so there's your three, three clips. And obviously that's one that goes into the trim. So there's four clips at the front. There's one clip in the middle, and then there's a couple of clips uh, on the far end, and it also tucks in, there you go, look, into the rear pillar. Let me turn the light on, you might get a better vision. There you go. You, this also tucks into the pillar, um, which just pushes in, and once it comes out, you can just sort of pull it away. And that is literally, it is relatively straightforward. It's just a bit, and there's one right on the bottom as well there. You might, if you're not like <laughs> someone else has done this before, they might bend, but these do just slide out. So worst case, you can replace them relatively simply. Um, sometimes they break if they're brittle. Sometimes you might find these are actually really, really good. Um, unfortunately, it's a shame the flap's broken. That's half the reason because it doesn't actually shut. So really annoying. Um, but I'm actually changing these for gray because I'll show you why not. Let me find the right one. Okay, so this is what I'm replacing it for. It needs a bit of a clean, but ignore that. And this has actually got a custom interior done. So it's actually leather, not plastic. And it's actually got a stitching 
where the leather is. Ooh, fancy, I hear you say. Yes. Um, <laughs> like I said, it is a bit tatty, but a lot of that you won't actually see. Um, but apart from that, it's actually relatively similar. Apart from it has this nice leather, which will go with the silver interior that I'm putting into the car ever so shortly. So all we'll do now is do everything in reverse and I'll get the camera there um, so I can show you me fitting it into the car. Okay, so this is a hell of a lot easier with the front seat removed as well, but I'll leave that one up to you. Um, so as you can see, most of the points um, for attaching the clips to these clips, oh, these clips, which will be in the plastic, will push into places like these. So there's little guides all over the place. Uh, remember where I said it tucks in? That's there. It tucks into this nice channel here. So it tucks in there nice. Obviously, make sure you put your seatbelt through first because you don't want to pop it all back on and then think, oh crap, I should have put my seatbelt back on. Um, <laughs> and there's a little clip here at the bottom and then there's a couple uh, on this side here. So relatively simple and that's, like I said, that's where, you can see that, that's where that pushes into there as well. So once you've got it all back in, I'm just gonna add a couple clips because my one didn't have a couple of them, but to put them in, you just squeeze them. Easy when you're not doing it from a distance. Just squeeze them in and then push them down the little channel. The channels are all pretty wide, so it doesn't matter too much. If you don't get it 100%, they'll kind of find their own way home somewhat. Um, and then, yeah, that is a case of pushing it in. So, I mean, entirely which way you start from, I will probably start from the back. Um, there's a couple of tabs that you want to get in, and they tuck in. You'll just feel it kind of go in, and then you get it lined up, and then you just pop all your clips in. It will find its own home. You get it nice and straight, and then you just give it a little tap. Obviously, I need to put my seatbelt in. Um, I'll come back to you once I've got this all fitted. Okay, so I just thought before I put them back on, I would quickly show you um, where the seatbelt is located. So the seatbelt itself is here, underneath this um, structural support. And there's just one small clip for the tensioner for in the event of an accident. Um, if you're gonna remove your seatbelt, this is for seatbelt removal only, if you're fully taking it out, you're going to need to unbolt these two bolts up here, which are 17s, and there's a 17 actually underneath the seatbelt canister itself, or the reel. Um, you just need to pull off the rest of this, oh, the rest of this door trim here. If you just pull this away, this lifts out, and you can just get a 17 mil underneath there. There's only one holding it on, and it's in like a guide. Um, so once you loosen it, it will start to flop about, so you'll need to hold it. Um, once you've got that undone, unclip the uh, tensioner or the, the preloaded um, thing for in an accident. Always, always, always have your battery off when doing this, ideally maybe 10 minutes before, just so it gives the system a bit of a chance to discharge. Um, and then you can remove your seat belts. Like I said, once you've undone this, you'll be able to pull your seat belt down and take the whole thing away and then you can replace it again. Once you bolt it in, once it's bolted down, then you'll be able to pull it out again because quite often um, people reel their seatbelt in, unbolt it, and then they struggle to get it out. It's because there's a mechanism in there that stops you from doing it. Um, <laughs> ideally, always remove the battery. I know I said it before, but uh, remove the battery because you don't want to accidentally get a bit of static on there or whatever, and then it goes off and then it, it ruins anything. Same with doing airbags, steering wheels, seats, anything like that. Always take your battery off and give it a bit of a chance to dissipate. Now, um, I thought while I'll show you while it's off, there's also an amp here, so if you have a Bose or a preamp system and you also possibly have speakers here as well. Um, when putting this back on, try and make sure that all of these have no clips in them. I've already checked. There was one loose um, where it's fallen out. And like I said, try and tuck it in here. It's worth cleaning in here because it's pretty ming in. Um, and that sort of pocket tucks down there. It's entirely up to you whether you start from the back or the front. It's not particularly easy either way. So it is six of one and a half a dozen of the other. And it does take a little bit of fiddling and you might have to pull it in and out a couple of times. Um, so these, like I said, just tucks in there. You'll get a feel for it when it goes in right. Like I said, remember, you've got, if you've got your old ones, have your old ones to hand so you can see where the bits are so you know where to sort of give it a bit of a, a gentle persuasion. Often, this bottom one I think you can feel from memory. Yep. And then this one, you can just get your fingers on it. It needs to come up a tiny bit. There we go. 
go. And they all just kind of sort of go into place. Once you've got it in the right place, they all just seem to go in nice. And then that's it. Just make sure you've got a nice gap around the door and the rubbers. Make sure it all sits in nice and snug, follows the trim. Oh, look at that. Put my first aid kit in there. There's probably 10 or 15 years out of date. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is it fitted. Straight and simple, really. And then, like I said, to get it out, you can just pull on this outer edge here, get your tool in there, like this. And what I recommend doing is getting it in and then using the, the car body just to push and then it just pops them out rather than having to damage the trim. Because if you pull from here outwards like that, you'll tear across the top edge there, which you don't want. And it, it may not be seen, but if it does, it will look horrific. So um, that's that. And then once you're done, pop your seat belts in there. I'll stick the, the torque for them on the screen now. Um, as you can see, they have these little um, sort of guides here as to where it goes so you can't sort of do it up and then it misses the... Oh, come on camera, play ball. Um, so it goes into, the, into there and stops. It doesn't turn so you can get a nice good tightening on it. Um, and then make sure you put your plastic clip in there to cover it so it's not unsightly. And that's you done. Nice little simple job as you can tell. I quite like the stitching. I've put my seats in already. So if you can see the whiteness behind me, I've just got to do the door cards. Uh, but there's loads of videos on there about how to do the front seats. They're really straightforward. Two bolts at the back, two bolts at the front. They're a big Allen key. I can't remember offhand what they are, but they're quite big. They're probably a six or a seven maybe. Um, but it's definitely worth getting yourself a little sort of rail of um, Allen keys and a rail of Torx bits because they're just dead handy to have with these cars. But yeah, two bolts at the back, two bolts at the front. You have to sort of slide it backwards and forwards to get them right. Um, there's two plugs underneath the seat, um, which again, will have your battery off. Um, and then they just lift out. They're just a bit of a pain in the butt because they're awkwardly shaped and very heavy, um, <laughs> especially if they're heated. Um, but yeah, so we'll get this bolted back in and then I'll give you a quick tour of what they look like. Okay, so there you have it. That is the rear um, door cards or inner trims fitted. What do you reckon? Do you prefer the grey? Do you like the black? Are you a fan of the stitching? That's a bit unusual. Let's give you a little zoom in. See there the stitching? And oh, no, it's dirty. Ignore the dirt. I will give it a clean. Um, what do you think to the uh, the silver seats, freshly refurbished? And I'll give you a little sneak peek. The silver steering wheel. Love it or hate it, I'm going to have to buy myself some white gloves. <laughs> but as always, guys, that's been another video from the Parrot Bros. If you want to know how to remove your rear seats, um, check out our channel. There is a video on how to remove your rear seats. Makes sense, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> I'll put a thing up in the corner now for you. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Any questions, as always, down in the description, uh, comments in the, in, the, in the comment section, not the description, in the comment section. That's where I'm going to put the links in the description. And uh, if you want some Parrot Bro stickers, you know where to find me. But until next time, guys, bye for now.